Welcome to mmlearn.org, a program of Morningside Ministries. I'm Maria Wellish, and I'm going to spend a few minutes with you talking about activities for residents or family members, somebody you're caring for that has dementia that needs to have an activity to do to keep them occupied, to make them feel like they're offering something meaningful and still contributing, doing something that's worthwhile. Well, I came across this old shoeshine kit, and this really triggered for me how important this was in my father's life. My dad shined his shoes every single Sunday morning for church, and I remember that. That was as routine as it was getting in the car to go to church. So I thought, what a great activity to give for our gentlemen to do, and women as well, because remember, we don't have to be gender-specific on anything we're doing. Today, you might not find a shoebox like that. How wonderful, though, if you could. But today, you can go to a dollar store or any kind of a store and buy a shoeshine kit for almost nothing. And in those kits, they have a brush, usually a little sponge, a chamois type of cloth to be able to buff a pair of shoes with, and some shoeshine polish. Now, I want to warn you here with the shoe shine polish that this one happens to be black, and this could make a mess, and it also could be eaten, and it could be toxic. So what we're looking for is something non-toxic, and they have those shoe polish um, um, cans now that have almost a clear, like a furniture polish that can be used that is non-toxic that you could use. And maybe you don't need to have the polish at all, and you can just put that away and just have the little sponge that they can use and have the brush that they can brush a pair of shoes. So let's just think about this for a second. To take a gentleman's pair of shoes, and preferably his own, and let him be buffing and brushing his shoe could take some time. Be nice to have those shoes nice and shiny, to have that cloth to be able to do if it's easier to handle than it is the brush. I'm also fascinated that higher functioning people can still lace shoes. So you could take the laces, maybe not all the way out, but see where someone's at. And if they have tennis shoes, see if someone can still lace. It's an activity. It's purposeful. It has meaning, and it's age-appropriate. If I were going to have a grandchild come in and visit my father, I would want them to see him doing something that was dignified, not playing with blocks or playing with beads on a rack. I would want them to see him and remember him the way I did. Take these ideas, and I hope they help you, and I hope while you're trying to do other things, while you're caring for someone, you're giving somebody something to do that makes them feel they're still contributing, they still have something to offer themselves and others. Other ideas are coming up. Please stay with us, and we'll show you some other thoughts on helpful activities serving people with dementia. 